so the question is to construct an evil tree with the following elements so let's construct it uh, we start with the element b c is greater than b so we have inserted c now check the balance factor the tree is balanced because the balance factor here is 0 and the balance factor here is minus 1 then we insert g here also balance factor is 0 here balance factor is minus 1 and here balance factor is 0 minus 2 it means minus 2 so minus 2 is not allowed so there is a problem in right right path so rr path there we have a problem so we have to rotate it anti-clockwise rr problem is we have to rotate it at anti-clockwise with uh, having c at center okay so c will become the parent b at the left side and g at the right side now it is balanced here the balance factor is 0 here the balance factor is 0 here also the balance factor is 0 1 minus 1 0 so we insert e here e is greater than c and less than g so e is inserted here so e uh, the value of uh, then after e uh, the next uh, we check the balance factor so balance factor here is 0 uh, here also balance factor is 1 minus 0 1 so here it is 0 here it is 1 here it is 1 minus 2 it means it is minus 1 okay now the next node is f so where f is inserted f is less than g and greater than e so f is inserted here again check the balance factor balance factor of f is 0 balance factor of e is 0 minus 1 it means it is minus 1 balance factor of g is 2 minus 0 it means it is 2 and here balance factor is 1 minus 3 1 minus 3 so it means it is minus 2 so from leaf to root first we have created and uh, the first problem which is violated here it is at node g so we first we balance uh, this node at node g so the problem is in the path left and right so there is a problem which is known as lr problem so in lr problem we need to uh, define two rotations one is rr rotation rr rotation is performed on this node and then we have performed ll rotation on this node so for rr rotation these two nodes are swapped f go up e goes down and then for ll rotation these three nodes are swapped so i just draw these uh, one by one so first uh, c is at, as it is then b First we have to perform the RR rotation. So RR rotation perform karte hain. RR rotation ke liye we have here F and here E. Okay. So this is the RR rotation. Means uh, we perform it anti-clockwise. Then we have to perform the LL rotation on it. So for after LL rotation the tree will be look like this. Mm, I just throw it here. C and here it is B then F will be the parent and E left side and G is the right side okay so uh, so this is the final tree so we check the balancing factor of each one the, these the leaf nodes always have zero balancing factor internal nodes have this node has 0 and this node uh, contain the balance factor 1 minus 2 so minus 1 so tree is balanced so go to the next node so till E the nodes are inserted so the F is also inserted yes F is also inserted now we have to insert the D node so D uh, where the D can be placed D is greater than C and D is less than F less than E so D is inserted at the left side of this node so because it is inserted there should be a change in the balance factor of this part so it is 0 it is uh, 1 it is 2 minus 1 1 and for C the path length here it is 3 it is 1 so for this one the balance factor will be minus 2 so because minus 2 is not allowed uh, so we have to uh, find out which path will create problem so rl path will create problem so for rl path we need two rotations first rotation is ll rotation on uh, which node so ll rotation is performed on this this node and then we have to perform the rr rotation 
so keeping f in mind uh, we have to rotate it so first we perform the ll rotation so c is the parent after rotating it in clockwise direction e will become the parent f is the right child and g is the right child of f the left child of e is d okay so and this is keep as it is b so this is the first ll rotation is performed then we have to perform the rr rotation on node c so rr rotation means anti clockwise so e will become the parent right left child is c and then its left child is b and the right child of uh, e is f and g and the left child of e is the right child of c okay now uh, here i think we check the balance factor all leaf nodes have balance factor zero internal nodes this c node is balance factor have zero and f node have the balance factor zero minus one minus one and for e the balance factor is two minus two zero so three is balanced now next node is a so we have to insert a a is inserted here after we have inserted a uh, which we check the balance factors now so all leaf nodes have the same balance factor so a have a balance factor 0 this node have a balance factor 1 this node is have a balance factor 2 minus 1 1 and then we have balance factor 3 minus 2 it is 1 0 minus 1 and here it is 0 here it is 0 so all node have a balance factor 0 1 or minus 1 so this tree is the final tree